Hi everyone, it's Sandy. I'm finally back. I had been really sick for the last uh, couple of weeks. I had tested positive for COVID as well as my husband, my two daughters and their partners. So we all had to isolate at our home for the past week or so. Um, we all ended up getting COVID um, a couple of days apart from each other and it was just such a horrible time we were all really sick and just wasn't able to do anything i was also a little bit behind in the orders uh when i got sick so those that had placed their orders uh your uh packages will be shipped today and tomorrow so i'm back on track and i'm feeling so much better uh, my sister also ended up with covid as well as her children and her husband because we all had a family get together uh I think the day after my last video that I'd posted two weeks ago and then from there we all uh, ended up being really sick but um, I'm so much better now and glad to be back. Uh, so I have here a really simple project. I had a bit of time while I was sick trying to think of some really easy projects uh, to get started and I'd come up with this fun little pocket ID and it just uses a six by six paper and I'm using the papers from this really lovely uh, collection. Uh, it's by Uniquely Cre Creative. It's an Australian-based uh, paper craft uh, online store. Uh, this is their website, and I'll put the link down below if you're interested in purchasing this really lovely uh, collection. Um, I think it's it's called Summer Holidays, and they're just lovely. And the papers, they're really, uh, it's not lightweight. So it's like a medium weight uh, paper. So it's great to use if you like making, say, boxes or gift boxes and for mini albums or anything you like. And they're single-sided. So they're just some lovely prints. So um, these are the papers that I've used. And I'll show you the uh, projects that I've made. And then I'm going to show you how easily it is you could make these, especially if you love making pockets. Uh, so this is one of them. It's really, really simple. Um, I've got a couple of holes punched here on the side where I use some twine to just decorate the uh, part that I punched the holes. And there's a little tuck pocket here in the front as well. So you could add some tags, a little note. And you could also make this front part a little wider so you can even add like a little tea bag sachet in there if you wanted to do that. And then up here is a, a wider or a larger wider pocket and I've made a little packaging uh, with some sequins that I've placed inside and I just wrapped it with some uh, crochet string. It just sort of opens up that way and then there is the opening down here and then I can just take out the enamel dots. So that's just a fun little uh, gift idea if you wanted to add a little gift inside this pocket. And then this one here is another one that I've made. I made this with a little tag. And again, there's a little front pocket there. Fussy cut one of the little flower images from the paper pad. Um, let me just see if I can show you if it's in here. So this is one of them. So you can see I've already fussy cut one. So we've got a lot of lovely uh, floral prints there that you can fussy cut and then embellish your uh, projects. One of my word sentiments and then that is your pocket i've got a tag inside this one and you could also stack these on top of one another if you want you can make a, a bunch of these and then just have your holes all lined up and then you can attach it all together onto um together you can make it into like a flip page so you've got one page you'll have another one and you can keep stacking more pockets and you can have like a pocket flip book where you can add a whole heap of fun stuff in these pockets. You could also add these to your planners through your binder rings. So you'll have a little pocket uh, page for your planners where you can add your uh, stickers. You can add your washi samples, uh, whatever you like inside the pocket as well. And you've got this little one here. So that's... um. This is just a fun little uh, easy project for you if you want to use your 6x6 six six papers. And I'll show you how easy it is you can make this. You'll need one piece of 6x6 six six paper. I've just got a single-sided paper uh, for this project. And again, the same paper from that uh, collection. And you'll also need another strip of scrap paper of your choice. And you want to cut this part at one and a quarter inches by four inches. That is uh, 
for this part here but really you could make this one as long as you like and as high as you want for this pocket but this one here is uh i've just used this size all right so we'll grab your uh six by six paper and i'm just going to place the print that's facing the front uh, facing down and we are going to score at three quarter inches and you're going to turn your paper around and then score that at three inches and that's all there is for that scoring And all we're going to do is we are just going to simply fold it in half where we made that score line at three inches. So that's that part done. And this part here where we've got the score line, we're just going to open this up and we're going to apply glue uh, just to this side. But before you do that, if you wanted to uh, create a uh, I finish it off with a corner rounder punch if you want to give it a, a neat finish you could do that or you could leave it as is if you like but I'll I might just punch this out first and corner around the corners so that just gives me a nice neat finish and now I'm just going to apply glue to one side here just uh, up to that score line just you can use double sided tape if you prefer And then we'll seal that part off. And you just want to grab your uh, hole punch. And you want to sort of measure it so that it's in the center. But I'm just going to eyeball this one and not mark it. So you just want to punch one on one end and another on the other side. So you've got your two holes punched out and then you can just simply just give that a little bit of a fold it just gives you this just gives you a bit of a decoration and there you have your pocket up there and all you're going to do next is grab your strip of uh, your scrap paper and I'm just going to corner around the left side which I've done like over here again you don't have to do that if you don't want to do that so I've done that and then you're just going to uh, place it along the bottom part where it's folded and just sort of decide how wide you want your pocket to be. So I'm just going to put mine about there. And then this part here, you're just going to fold that back. So that sits in there. So you've got somewhere to ad adhere some glue. And then you take this out. And we are going to put glue all along the bottom here. And then all oh, that part there where we made that little fold. I'm just going to place that back here. Bring that around. So that part should all have glue there. And then just along the bottom here where we place that glue. And that pretty much does your pocket insert with the extra front pocket. So there you have your top pocket up here. And this part here where we've made the fold just gives that, that uh, holds it in place so nothing slides out of the side there. And then you also now have this pocket here as well. And you can just have fun decorating the uh, front like I have. And in this part here, you can add your string if you wanted to. You can add some string on this side and one over here and add some dangles along the string. Or you could just wind it around, around that way if you wanted to add a tag. So that is just a simple pocket uh, that I've thought I'd make using some 6 by 6 papers if you have a whole heap of them. And I just also wanted to... Uh, just give a little mention, um, if you follow me on Instagram, I have uh, also opened up a little business with my brother and we have opened up a food stall 
and we sell Indonesian street food which uh, we make ourselves and we go through all different locations in Sydney and uh, and festivals where we uh, serve up our Indonesian street food. If you want to follow us on our other, my, our, or our other Instagram page, it's called Hetty's Satay Heart. And I'll put that link down below if you want to follow um, my other business page and have a look and see all the lovely, delicious food that we serve up. And if you are a subscriber of mine and you are in Sydney, you could also follow me on that page and hopefully I will be able to come to a location near you when there is a festival or a an event happening so i just thought i'd uh, mention that as well um, so i have been busy with that part of my business as well as my uh crafting as well and my etsy shop so yes i've been pretty busy but again thank you everybody for waiting patiently for me to come back and uh, i hope everyone stays safe and healthy and i'll see you soon in my next video bye for now